Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Very early this morning, there was a magnitude 6.3 earthquake, 83 kilometers north northeast of Tacpilla, Chile. 145 people reported feeling this earthquake to USGS. This earthquake and the subsequent earthquakes that followed and prior to this 6.3 is what they call deep interface event earthquakes. Here you can see how the fault line moved towards the east and we had uplift. The moment tensor ball um, shows it moving up and to the east uh, north. See that? Now what is important is the two earthquakes that happened prior to this 6.3. There was a 4.6 and a 4.3. Um, this was a deep west dipping fault. Just like the Cascadia subduction zone, we got the buildup of mountains and uplift. And I'm sure if they were watching, there would be lots of quiet earthquakes in this location. I found a paper that might help explain this a little bit better if you want to look it up and read some more. In 2005, there was a magnitude 7.8 Tarakapa earthquake that result of a normal faulting on a west dipping plane at a depth of 90 kilometers within the subducting slab down dip of the North Chilean Gap that partially ruptured in the 2014 8.2 Ikiki earthquake. So these two earthquakes, this one, the 4.6, um, these were really deep. This was 124 kilometers in depth, while this other one, let me bring it down, was um, 131.8 kilometers in depth. So that would be about 81 miles in depth. And this section is moving west. And then we got the Nazca Fault moving east. They're going to be talking about this probably, you know, in the future in some research paper, talking about these deep plate interface events. All these yellow earthquakes is what ESMC listed that USGS didn't report. So we have a setup here similar to what happens along the Cascadia fault zone. And I was thinking, well, maybe we should be looking for um, smaller events inland um, on the opposite side of the Cascadia fault zone where they have these deep west dipping faults for a trigger event for the uh, Cascadia zone and the Juan de Fuca fault zone to have a major earthquake, which in this case here was a magnitude 6.3. I have talked about how geology is about 50 years behind compared to other sciences, and they didn't know about these interplate earthquakes or quiet earthquakes until it was identified um, to have happened in 2002 in Japan. Shortly after that, the Geological Survey of Canada coined the term episodic tremor and slip to characterize the observation of GPS measurements in the Vancouver Island area. Vancouver Island lies in the east, the uh, North American region of the Cascadia subduction zone. Now they know there that because of the twisting, let me open this up for you, um, the twisting of that part of the continent, um, they have earthquakes about every 14 months or could have the potential of a large earthquake every 14 months. So maybe this series of events that happened in Chile uh, could teach us and other geologists about the threat for the uh, uh, Washington, Oregon, um, yeah, fault zone. But you can see here there's a lot of earthquakes that they did not report. I don't know why, but EMSC did report them. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.